good afternoon dear students previous class we uh, discussed about a so in that chapter of uh, we learnt uh, so many things that is about the composition of the atmosphere and also we are discussed about structure of the atmosphere especially the different layers of the atmosphere such as the troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere and afterwards we learned about weather and climate also and temperature air pressure wind and types of wind also and the effects of cyclone and super cyclone and also we learned about the moisture also so all those things we learned in the previous sessions so today we are going to learn about water so you may feel surprise or something sir what is there sir to learn about water of course dear students because every one of you knows about the water the essence of the water the use of the water and the require of the water so all those things we knows the role of the water in our daily life and even you all of you knows about if there is no water then even we cannot imagine the situation and that result of the no existence of any kind of living organisms on this earth if there is no water resources because water is one of the basic essential for the entire living organisms whether natural vegetation or wildlife including human beings or fisheries or for different uh, lives talks see when you think of water what images come to your mind just you can imagine about water maybe you are imagining a river a ocean a sea a valley are raining the droplets of water coming down from the sky and maybe the water tap when you are run the water tap so how see there are so many things so that's left to you how you are going to imagine about the water how you are going to imagine yourself about the water in your mind. see you think of rivers of course we all of you knows about rivers you all are not idiot and you and you all of you knows that the water falls the pitter patter of rain drops also and water in your tap also you know that tap on madre gotagutte neer bartta idante so uh, especially so you children love to float paper boats in a rain puddles in a rain puddles paper boat madlikke even to play with the water and even by noon the puddles vanish where does the water go kelavu sar anisirutte ayyo water it was in the morning then now it was not there but it does the water go hello to neeru and you are observing in some of the small ponds and lakes even if you are not utilizing the amount of the water day by day it is going to be decreased and one fine day it is going to become dry hulls ond kere hagirbodu ond nadil irbodu ಅಥವಾ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಒಂದಷ್ಟು ದಿನಗಳ ನಂತರ ಅದು ಹೇಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಡ್ರೈ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಿದ್ರೆ ನೀರು ಎಲ್ಲೋಯ್ತು ಸಿ ದ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಹೀಟ್ ಕಾಸಸ್ ಇವಾಪೊರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ವ್ಯಾಪರ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಹೀಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಹೀಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಸಸ್ ಇವಾಪೊರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ 
that into vapor what we call in kannada havi and then karithivala makkala habe avi so adu when the water vapor cools down a uh, water vapor in the a near in a avi adu tanni hadaga when it cools down it condenses and forms clouds of course you all of you knows that the clouds aakashada tumba kelav sari tumba moda irutte kelav sari clear sky irutte so a water vapor in cool hadaga adu condenses in the enagutte antu heladre clouds form agutte moda galu nirmana agutte and from there it may fall on the land or sea in the form of rain snow or sleet so nantra enagutte adhe modagalu bosha nim gottirbeku especially during rainy season you are observing the farmers they were well well knows about by looking the sky they can imagine and then they can tell about so maybe today or tomorrow we are going to get rain on what base the villagers or the agriculturist or the farmers so they were going to tell all this the right so because they knows that they are watching the sky and because of the clouds the formation of the clouds and that's it. even bari moda itta takshana male baruthe antala makkala it's also very much important so but those people knows very well in kelave dinagalalli mala aagutte so again that comes down from there it may fall on the land or sea in the form of a rain or in the form of snow or in the form of a sleet again that comes down see the process by which water continually changes its form and circulates between oceans atmosphere and land that is what known as the water cycle so in the practical in the one the process in the idana now water cycle ante re kerithi so please look your textbook page number 30 picture 5.1 the water cycle so that shows very beautifully in that picture the process of the water cycle so now here what happened now it is actually that continuous process there we can observe that the process by which water continually changes its form and circulates between oceans atmosphere and land so that we used to call as a water cycle i hope dear students you may got the meaning of water cycle the formation the process of circulates between the oceans atmosphere and land so the water continuously circulating in this so this process it's well known as the water cycle so dear students our heart is like a terraria sir yen sir idu terraria man bitri that means it is an artificial enclosure for keeping small house plants bosha ne nodi irbeku makkala it is actually uh, i think you all of you knows that aquarium so kelavar manegalalli irbodu makkala aquarium so fish stock like atwa meenugalanna saaklikke aquarium so the same way terrarium so this is also the same like aquarium but aquarium alla now fishes anna saaktivi adre illi a terrarium nalli so we are keeping as the small small plants idu hege irutte andre gazina ondu bottle type irbodu athwa ondu gaatrada So it is an en- artificial enclosure for keeping small house plants. Putta 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 kida kida na. Adro agade haaki bade sa dera ta. Toh adro agade haaki. So you want you, that is there in textbook the picture with and terrarium. So here it is. It is like a, the big jar. 
ಅಂತ ಕರೀಬಹುದು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಜಾರ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದಷ್ಟು ಮಣ್ಣನ್ನು ಹಾಕಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಪುಟ್ ಎ ತಿನ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಹುಮಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಒಂದು ಜಾರ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದಷ್ಟು ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಅನ್ನು ಹಾಕಬೇಕು ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ದ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಯು ಈವನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಜಮೀನಿಂದ ತಂದ್ರೆ ಬೆಟರ್ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಫಲವತ್ತಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಗಿಡಗಳು ಬೆಳೆ ಅಥವಾ ಬೆಳೆಯನ್ನು ಬೆಳೀಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅನುಕೂಲಕರವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲ್ಗಡೆ ಒಂದಷ್ಟು ಗೊಬ್ಬರವನ್ನು ಹಾಕಬೇಕು ಮಕ್ಕಳ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮಸ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ದ ಸ್ಮಾಲರ್ ಬನ್ಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಸಣ್ಣ ಸಣ್ಣ ಗಿಡ ಸ್ಪ್ರೇ ದ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ದ ಜಾರ್ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ವಾಟರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಹಾಕಬೇಕು ದೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ದ ಜಾರ್ ಸೊ ದ ವಾಟರ್ that evaporates from the leaves and soil condenses and falls back in the form of drops of water see alli namge a clear picture sigutte adu yav rithi water vapor aagogutte elegal mele adu beledu again adu yav rithi condenses and falls back in the form of drops of water again a elegal mukantar drop 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 water yav rithi barutte anadanna so ee ondu terrarium ondu sanna prayogada mukantara even you can enjoy that also so why i told uh, this one now so because to know about terraria it is like an aquarium so then we can understand how the water it is actually circulated between the oceans or between the land or the atmosphere continuously and this process we used to call as a water cycle ಸೊ ನಮ್ಮ ಭೂಮಿ ಏನಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಟೆರಾಜ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವಾಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸೆಂಚುರೀಸ್ ಎಗೋ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಟುಡೆ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವಾಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಂಚುರೀಸ್ ಎಗೋ ಶತ ಶತಮಾನಗಳ ಹಿಂದೆ ಇದ್ದಂತಹ ನೀರು ಸೊ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಟುಡೆ ಇವತ್ತಿಗೂ ಸಹ ನಾವು ಕಾಣ್ತೀವಿ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಟು ಇರಿಗೇಟ್ a field in ariana may have flowed down the amazon river 100 years ago just you can imagine now it is a really amazing so the water which was used to irrigate a field in ariana haryana da yavado ondu pradeshadalli ವ್ಯವಸಾಯಕ್ಕೆ ಬಳಸದಂತಹ ನೀರು ಸೊ ಮುಂದೊಂದು ದಿನ ನೂರಾರು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ನಂತರ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಡೌನ್ ದ ಅಮೆಝಾನ್ ರಿವರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಎಗ್ ಬಹುಶಃ ಆ ನೀರು ಮುಂದೆ ಅಥವಾ ನೂರಾರು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಹಿಂದೆ ಅಮೆಝಾನ್ ರಿವರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹರಿತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ಏನ್ ಸರ್ ಅಮೆಝಾನ್ ರಿವರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹರಿಯಾಣ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿಂದೆ ಸರ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಮೇಜರ್ ಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆ ವಿ ನೋಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ವಾಟರ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ನೋಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬಟ್ in that even the huge amount of the water so we cannot use the all the available amount of the water for our so why because no because the maximum of the water are saline water which we cannot use in our daily life see the amount of the fresh water it is very less see the major sources of fresh water the major sources of fresh water agidre fresh water sources yavudu antu helidre so such as ponds rivers springs and glaciers so only these are 
द मेजर सोर्सेस ऑफ फ्रेश वॉटर सच एज पॉइंट रिवर्स स्प्रिंग एंड ग्लेशियर्स सो ओनली दीज आर द मेजर सोर्सेस ऑफ फ्रेश वॉटर सी द ओशन बॉडीज एंड द सीज कंटाइन साल्टी वाटर सर हाँ इधर समुद्र अथवा दुड दुड सागर बड़स्क नो वि कैनाट यूज बिकॉज ऑफ द सा कंटेट इज हाई द वाटर ऑफ द ओशन इज साइट कंट लारज एंतर मकल इट इस लारज अमौंट आफ डिसा सो मोस्ट ऑफ द सा सोडियम क्लोरइड or the common table salt that which we are eating or which we are using in our daily life the maximum of the so of course there is not maximum so whatever the existed the different oceans and the different the seas so the completely those oceans and seas water completely saline water which contains a large amount of dissolved salts and most of the salt is a sodium chloride or uh, which is called as the common table salt which we are using in our daily life in our food getting this students now let us discuss about distribution of water bodies distribution of distribution of water bodies see we all of you knows that the three fourth of the earth almost the 71% of our earth surface is covered by water the three fourth of the surface of our earth covers with water bodies and if there is more water than land so the percentage of land it is so less it is about only 29% on the ha so the maximum of the earth surface covered with the water than land See, why do so many countries face water scarcity? Even though, dear students, so there are so many countries, so many states, so many towns, so many villages, so many areas, they are facing water problems, the scarcity of water. Why all these many countries or many places or many areas face water scarcity? अरे सर हाँ किधर है यहाँ क्या है? so the three fourth of our earth surface is covered with the water and even though so we are facing water problem why so this maybe all of you knows that the reason because whatever the available water it is the completely the maximum of the water is the saline water it's especially where we can see in the oceans getting now see is all the water on the earth whether it can be used or whether it is available to us no dear students because that is depend upon the distribution of water bodies now let us discuss about the distribution of water bodies i mean the water in percentage wise so out of 100% oceans so 93% then you can imagine are you getting dear students so the oceans the amount of the oceans water in the percentage that is 90 Sorry, 90, not 93. So 97.3 percent. 
So, which is completely salty and sour, which we can't use. It is completely saline water, 97.3. Then what about remaining the fresh water? It is about only very less. 2.7% of the water only we can observe as the fresh water and this fresh water body is also distributed in a different place. So for example the maximum ice caps, so the percentage of the ice caps that is 0.0% and ground water So the ground water, it is about 0.68% and after fresh water release, fresh water lakes, it is about 0.009%, 0.009%. Okay, and the inland seas and salt lakes, inland and salt lakes, it is about again the same 0.009% and atmosphere 0.0019% and in rivers very less, it is a 0.0001%. So this only the fresh water. Are you getting now? See, the water distribution it can be demonstrated by a simple activity. You can observe which is given in the uh, textbook also. It, that shows that a very less amount of the fresh water we are getting. That is also it is a distributed between the different water bodies. So once again I would like to explain about this distribution of water in percentage in next class. Thank you. Have a nice day.